A sharp hand plane leaves a glass smooth surface on the workpiece. In this video, I'll step you through the process I use to sharpen the iron on this shooting plane by hand without the use of any honing guides or jigs. I think the end result will surprise you. When I took this shooting plane off the shelf, I realized it had been a while since I had sharpened the iron. And a sharp iron is critical to get the best performance out of a shooting plane. So I decided it was worth a few minutes of invested time to go ahead and sharpen the blade and get it ready for use. Here I'm using water stones. You want to make sure to follow the manufacturer's instructions on how to prepare your stones for use. As with any blade, you want to make sure that the back is flat and polished for the sharpest edge. Here I'm just touching up the back on the finest stones that I have to get a nice polish. Now of course if it's a new plain iron, you want to make sure to start with a coarser stone and work your way up through the finer and finer grits until you get a polished back. And we're only concerned with about the first quarter to half inch behind the cutting edge. You don't need to bother with flattening the entire back of the plain iron. If you're using water stones, you want to make sure that they're nice and flat before sharpening the bevel. Here I'm just using a flattening stone and I'm making sure that all the stones I'm going to be using are flat before I start on the bevel. Sharpening by hand isn't as scary as it might look. All you need to do is concentrate on keeping the flat of the bevel on the stone and working your way back and forth. And you're going to work your way up through the grits until the bevel is polished. Sometimes I'll use a leather hone charged with honing compound to put that final bit of polish on that edge. One stroke with the back of the iron flat on the hone removes any wire edge. I like to use a piece of softwood like basswood or pine and check the edge. If I can get a nice shaving off of the end grain and leave a smooth surface behind, I know that the iron's sharp and I can go ahead and install it back in the plane and put it to use. Getting curls off of the end grain is the ultimate test of sharpness. 